intentional but uh, it would be a good idea to have a, a facility so that the administrator can look at the files. In order to circumvent this problem I need to take ownership of the file and as you can see I'm doing that. After taking ownership I will add an administrators group and give that group full rights. And now, if I open one of the documents, I can dump its content. That, as you saw, is the key gen program I used uh, to generate the key pay. Now, I'm looking at test 2, and as you can see, by default, test 2 has uh, users who have read-write access to it. Now, on the client, I'm going to generate my second, my second script. And this script, other than using a module, is going to specify a path directly. CYG drive, C test two. If you notice, other than two colons after the IP address of the machine, I have one. And that is difference between a module and a path. So one colon means a part two colon means a module. Save it. Right. Now if you look closely on the server window you see as soon as I run the command provided I don't make any mistakes the director will get created. Same problem I've had before of not by default being able to access the contents still remains. And again I overcome that by taking ownership of the folder and then adding a user or a group who can read the content. And this is um, the rsync help file. There's one for the config file and one for rsync itself. My third and final script is rsync being tunneled through um, OpenSSH. So I'm adding a tunnel, a secure tunnel, and transmitting data through that tunnel. Now, this script starts the same as the previous two scripts, but has a, a chunk that I generated using the wizard provided in the installer. Now, I would like to point out that the script generated by the installer works with an older version of rsync. If you try to use it out of the box, if you try to use the answer, there are certain settings which don't apply. I had to tinker those and once I got those working um, it was not a problem. This time, when I tunnel to the secure channel, to the secure uh, channel, I'm going to call module test three, which 
which I had defined and as you can see in the little window on top that is the module I'm going to call establishing secure channel and the data got transferred I remind you remove the uh, dash VVV if you put dash V it would suffice and you get a lot less noise uh, than you're seeing on the screen VVV is normally used if you have a problem open that up same limitation hope I could report very soon a solution to this give someone r access rights to that directly and the file can be open all the scripts are obtainable and I do encourage you to visit ITE fix and support the site and participate because this is how we can make this product uh, a better one if you have suggestions or comments um, specific to this to this presentation please send them if you have anything you would like to contribute to to the blogs few friends and I write you're more than welcome to to send your opinions on on the subject and here I'm taking you to our blog there are a few articles I've placed a few articles on rsync um, which give a simple introduction of how it actually works and how it actually functions